Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dion and you're watching Reptiliatus. Today's video is a little bit different. We're not talking about reptiles and amphibians. We're actually gonna be going out in the field looking for snowy owls, Bubo scandiacus. These majestic birds travel down a little bit south of their range during the winter because it's comfortable temperatures this time of year in southern Ontario and can be found hunting here throughout the winter. Now before we get too far ahead in this video, I'd like to talk about a few very important issues concerning birding, especially photographing owls. It's really important that you remember that these birds need their space and that you respect them. Birding is becoming very popular and there are plenty of people that have started baiting owls and this is a huge issue for many reasons. One of which is that the owls start to depend on people for their food. When that happens, they can starve if people suddenly stop feeding them. When multiple people learn about an owl's location and all start baiting the owl, it really reinforces that dependency because they're all gonna just go there and feed that owl. You have to consider where is the food that they're baiting the owls with coming from? Most likely, it's from a rodent farm that would normally produce rodents for captive bred animals. And these farms can easily spread diseases or parasites, illnesses, and those can be transferred to these wild birds, which is a huge, huge issue. So, please, do not bait owls. I can think of only one exception where it'd be permissible. Scientists or conservation authorities and you need to tag a bird or who knows what. But even then, a lot of them will use sound. They will use the call playback of the owls to lure them over. Another thing, do not trespass. You find out about a bird being in a certain tree on someone's property and you want to get that magic shot. Don't either mind the property boundary or ask permission to enter the property. There are people, I mean, this is like a new thing. It reminds me of like when Pokemon Go got popular, people would just wander into other people's backyards to catch them all. But like, people will just sneak into someone's yard to take a picture of an owl. It's, it's gotten to that level. But yeah, respect properties, respect boundaries, respect the birds, and have a great time. For us, what we did is we traveled around in Brad's Jeep and we knew about several locations where these snowy owls often rest during the day in farmer's fields. So we took advantage, took it upon ourselves to head out early in the morning around dawn and start looking for the owls. And lo and behold, well, here are the uh, fruits of our labor and man let me tell you it was magical I mean growing up I watched Harry Potter you saw Hedwig I've had the bounty of handling and being around these animals and they are truly just pure majestic birds so the fact that I could drive less than an hour away and see them in the wild really really just shocked me I didn't realize that they were around here I'll link a page down below that gives you some tips on how to photograph owls safely. Seeing Brad and Gabe, dear friends, we have a few other videos we've done together. When we go herping. Yeah, that bad boy may or may not be painted as a crocodile. I will link them at the end of the video. Without further ado, I hope you enjoy this video. There on the, there's a big white spot there. Ah, Bradley. You know the thing about snowy owls is, is that, uh, what was I saying? Right, most of the time during daylight in winter when we see them, they're roosting, which means they're just sitting there having a nap. But these species, this species is capable of hunting in daylight because they have to be able to because on their breeding ground, where's their breeding ground, ground Brad? Yeah. You have two thirds of a zoology degree. Is it the tundra by chance? The tundras of the Arctic, don't hit this Mennonite, uh, are uh, light 24 hours a day during their breeding season. So they gotta be able to do it, but they're not as daylight hunting dominant as some of the northern owl species 
like your northern hawk owls which hunt entirely diurnally and aren't really active at night. These guys are more active in the evening and into the night which is when you'll see them flying around crushing voles having a good time they just swallow them whole it's pretty funny to watch um and you know yeah but they will hunt during the day sometimes most of the time during the day they're easier to find because they're just sitting down roosting and uh yeah they're easy to come by i think there's one out in that field there trip's already a success Gabe, what do we have over on the other side? Those birds over there? Yeah. Are seal bunting. They're another northerly breeding species that uh, comes down here to winter. They have a lovely plumage that lets you see flashes of white. We're spying on the farms. I'm just kidding. I'm making Brad uncomfortable. which point you kind of oh, have to be wait, proud of those. Available? This one's smaller. Oh, there, right here. yeah, oh my god. This one's quite, quite close too, so yes. just give her, a, give her a pull off right here, Bradley. So we got another yes. snowy owl right here. I don't know if I'm pointing at it. This camera has an odd flippy screen. Yeah. This one oh, yeah, it is. looks to be mostly white, so he would be a male. Let's roll the windows down. And let's keep our voices relatively low for this one. Yeah, so we don't like question. So what I had asked, asked closer, so I wasn't they mind yeah they don't the they, they don't like mind the like presence of others if there's food they're wintering birds they're not breeding and so they are not so you can see the little snowman beautiful so you were mentioning something about their weight they need to exercise more he's only husky because of the feathers um no, this is the heaviest owl species in the world. Which is interesting to think if you just want to relatively look at them, you have your great horned owls and other larger species. It's not about the... I would think if you got them on a perch next to each other, these guys would look quite large. It's just the lack of scale you get from this. Uh-huh, that's true. Because he's just sitting there, but if you come up, you know, you would be like... Pretty close? They're, yeah, they're quite large and they're quite beefy. They have to be a little bit more insulated to deal with the cold. Oh yeah. Um, I personally would not want to be lying on the ground in that field. I think it would be quite a chilly experience. I don't know, you, you did enjoy lying in the cold, icy mud for that frog. It's about to get really nasty. Why here? Why don't we bring him up there where it's yeah, dry? Because this is next to his natural habitat. Uh, Do your thing, Brad. Print. This may not work. Print. Yeah, yeah. So you wear <laughs> Oh, brother. That's how it's done. Oh, oh more of oh, the... Oh, there's snow bunting yeah. in the background. Get that on video. Oh, that's crisp. That's so crisp. Look at that. Look at, that. Look at him. He's like, ooh, it's a nice day. He's just sunbathing. <laughs> He's like, more. Mm. He's like, it's so cold. Mm. I'm squinting. The wind is burning. Yeah. No, that's got to suck. I'm... Owl number three. Maybe female? Quite heavily streaked. Beautiful bird. The 
focused face of Gabe. Yeah, that's as close as I can get, which still isn't bad, but... That was very successful. So as long as we find an owl, it's a successful trip, and we found three. So it was three successful. Three yes. times as successful as it could have been. Exactly. That was pretty dang awesome. Don't forget, guys. Dan's got to make a living. We're all in this together. Don't forget to smash that like button. Destroy the bell and hit that subscribe button and leave a comment down below about something you liked from this video, right? Could have been me, you know, could have been, been Brad, Brad. could have been Dan, could have been the, the owls for all we know. That's the primary reason you're here, I assume, rather than my current unhinged ranting. But yeah, you know, smash that like button subscribe comment enthusiasm. below like hit the bell like it again we, we get it we go get watch it. more videos there's there's some in the sidebar some in the below my instagram is at sinkly bay c-i-n-c-l-i-b-a-e this is goose feathers that's reptiliatus follow us there He's got Twitter, he's got Facebook, he's got it all. Go smash all those like buttons, hit the hearts, hit the likes, woo!